Good evening, little, little girls on Sunday. You've already had one instalment of an ITV football doubleheader. Congratulations to Aston Villa on reaching the FA Cup final. Now here's your regular weekend fix of all the nationwide league action. And our feature game, the regional derby between the two towns, Grimsby and Huddersfield. Also coming up, Barnsley's Reds rock 10-man Robins. A game of two halves, the Millers battle back to stay on top. But more humiliation for Halifax. No goals now at home for more than nine hours. Well, also coming up, one of the region's most colourful characters recalls possibly the best goal he ever scored. Find out who we're talking about in our Blast from the Past in Part 2. But now it's back to our feature game. Almost 7,000 are at Blundell Park for a match that has significance at both ends of the First Division table. Among them, our man John Helm. Well, just to make sure we're not uh, too dazzled, Huddersfield Town have dispensed with their stripes for the afternoon and are wearing a sort of a dark blue and green number. And uh, here come Grimsby seeking a goal in the first minute of the match and Donovan's into the area and Kevin, Kevin Donovan goes right on through there and there's a free kick against Grimsby. They're desperate for a goal here. The calculators have been out and uh, fans reckon it's seven hours since Grimsby scored. 13 years since Huddersfield last won on this ground. So they too are looking for an early goal, and Vinard, oh, the ball actually brushed away off the cheek of Chris Beach as he was running in there and flew a long way wide of goal. Steve Bruce, in his first season, of course, at Huddersfield Town, just after that one season with Sheffield United. And what an achievement would, would be for him if he could take Huddersfield into the Premier League at the first attempt. Donovan skips back a challenge and a free kick again. Grimsby very much in the ascendancy in terms of attacking play. Pull back for McDermott. Steam already gone from the free kick. Eventually a really loop it high into the air. It's going to drop under Varson's bar. Tipped over the top. Not really what McDermott had in mind, not really what Grimsby had in mind with that free kick. Played short between Donovan and McDermott and eventually they managed to contrive a chance for McDermott to loop the ball in. Varson eventually taking evasive action. Armstrong does get a header through towards Vinard and Clyde Vinard wrapped it against the upright. Well, Clyde Weinhard at the moment can't buy a goal, as they say. From Huddersfield's point of view, it's the sort of chance he would have taken in his sleep earlier in the season. And going to do with a goal. Huddersfield are trying to find one here with Weinhard. A touch off to Beach, who has been scoring goals quite frequently. Three last week, in fact. Grimsby will break. The referee has played an advantage. Pout is storming up the middle. Still he goes on. Pouton. The surging run from Alan Poughton has been one of the more impressive performers today and it took all of Chris Lucchetti's know-how and his hand to stop him getting any further. And it's a chip up towards Clare and it's out off the head of Holland. Well, a free kick routine, much appreciated by the Grimsby fans behind the goal here. David Smith is looking for anybody in uh, black and white, and Lever got his head to that. Lever once more, and it's still into the area, and down goes Ashcroft. And the referee says no penalty. As Mark Lever headed the ball on, down went Lee Ashcroft. Contact, well, the referee said it's not sufficient contact for it to be a penalty. His header falls to Caldicott. Ashcroft, Poughton, Alan Poughton's done really well here. Poughton, and he scrams it across, and it's off the line. And the referee had a good view of that. And good play again from Alan Poughton, the former York City man who has yet to open his account for Grimsby. Dribbled his way through there into the Sussfield area. Didn't quite have the purchase on the shot for it to carry over the line. Took Jamie Vincent to intervene to clear it for Huddersfield. McDermott stumbles past Vincent. 
Donovan releases Claire down a right wing channel. Held up by Gray. He might just try and get a corner out of this. That's exactly what he's done. Are Grimsby ever going to get a goal? That's what their fans are asking. Not from that. Oh! The referee almost flattened by Weinhardt's clearance. There's a good lap about it. Done with style, Mr. Calvert. Gave everybody a laugh and something to cheer. So when Vinart belted the ball away, then it flew off Mr. Calvin. <laughs> Huddersfield uh, looking for one goal that could win them three points. And Vincent's going to uh, try his luck here. Oh, it's a rasper. <laughs> Terrific try from Jamie Vincent. He scored recently at Norwich and he lets fly with this one. A thunderous try. Tipped over by Danny Coyne of the area, Coldicott getting forward, not like the referee, it's Butterfield now, oh a free kick, Butterfield staying, staying down, Vincent having, having a few choice words with him before picking him up, and the referee having a few choice words with Jamie Vincent as well. David Smith's left boot seems to be, to be involved here, Unless it's squared for Gallimore. No, it is Smith. Oh, a screamer. He is so, so unlucky. He really thumped it. And it flew wide of Vassan's right hand upright. There was nothing he could have done about it. Beach actually missed kicked but got away with it. Baldrish stumbles past two defenders. And whips the ball over to Vincent. He's got himself a free kick out of that challenge from Lever. Huddersfield have committed six players to the penalty area. So Vincent looking for one, and it's Weinhard. And, uh, well, Clyde Weinhard must just wonder where that early season form has gone. Perfect free kick from Vincent. What looks like the perfect header from Weinhard. It's a foot the wrong side of the upright. Hey, Weinhard for Hay, hey. got, got the ball to the outside, it's Hay's shot, right of the goal. Uh, just hustle and bustle there between Weinhard and Hay, which eventually opened the Grimsby door. But uh, Chris Hay to have a pot shot, but uh, he's pulled it across goal. Steve, am I right in saying that was nil-nil from the word goal? Yes, I think, uh, I think it was one of them where both sides were a little bit edgy. Um, which of course happens at this, this late stage, but defensively uh, we look very, very solid. Nico is and safe to make, so that's the plus point for us. Um, we, we know we've missed the cutting edge of maybe a Smithy or a Dean Gorey or somebody like that, somebody who could just turn it our way. But the resilience and their attitude and their character, again, I'm delighted with. I mean, they've got the bit between their teeth and they're giving their utmost. How do you see the, the running now, the last six matches? Difficult. Um, Obviously, we're at Sheffield next week, and then we've got the next two home games, Blackburn and, and Manchester City at home. But we get a better atmosphere in the ground for games like that. It, it, it lifts the lads a little bit extra. And, and as you've seen today, we're capable of playing against anybody. And the fans, to be fair, were pretty good with you, weren't they? They were behind you. Well, I think they should be. I mean, it, you know, if you look at our resources at this football club compared to the likes of some of the teams we do play, I think it's fantastic what we achieve. But then again, I'm biased, aren't I? Always an honest man, Alan Buckley. Well, we'll see how that affects the table in part two, when we'll also bring you the rest of the action. who recalls a memorable night for Barnsley. <laughs>